What is up, you guys? It is the Talking Sasquatch, and I am back here again with some more cool stuff. Now, you may have seen popping around some people hooking up an ESP32 cam to their Flipper Zero. Well, today, I've got one right here. I'm gonna show you how to do it yourself. So sit back, relax, and let's get at it. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to navigate over to Z4 URCE's GitHub. I can't pronounce that and I'm not really sure if that's supposed to be a word. But yeah, we're going to navigate down here. I will throw in a link in the bio or bio in the description down below. So it'll make it easier for you to find. I'm going to actually install this using Arduino IDE because I'm comfortable using it. Uh, but you can do it in any of the ways that they show down here. So the first thing that I'm actually going to do is hop in. I'm going to go ahead and download the source code. That way we can just download this, save it. Oh, actually, you can see I've already got it here. But um, yeah, we can download and save that, run that through Arduino IDE and install the firmware. And then next what we're gonna do is we're gonna hook up the ESP32 cam to the flipper. And we're also gonna use pin 100 and we're gonna jump that directly to the ground because that's what makes it so it will go into the flash mode. So I'm gonna hop off of the desktop stream. I'm gonna have to kill Q flipper in this cool little video, but I'll show you how that works. We're back up here now. So we've got the Flipper Zero and the uh, ESP32 cam hooked up according to the uh, the diagram that's on the on GitHub. It's VCC to 3v3, which is normal, ground to ground, normal. UOR to TX, UOT to RX, kind of TX, RX, just like everything else was. And then, yeah, you're gonna jump 100 to ground. So you go find that, pin 100. Plug that in like that, and then jump that directly to ground. Boom, that's in that way. So then we're gonna hook up the flipper to, oops, actually I have to kill Q flipper. I've still got it running from my shot before. Close that, and then we're gonna plug flipper in. Easy as that. Then we're simply gonna go to GPIO. Let's go down to GPIO, because we're gonna open up the UART bridge. All right, USB UART bridge, it's the top menu. You can't see my screen, but you don't really have to. So that's going now. And then you're gonna press the little reset button on the back of the screen. Super little button, but it's the only button, so it's easy to find. Once you've finished all that, all we gotta do is pop back over to the PC screen, and then I'll show you how to go through and install with Arduino IDE. Now we're just gonna go ahead and decompress this file, extract all, extract, this should go pretty quick because it's not very big, there we go. Flipper Zero camera, ESP32 firmware. It also has, whoops, I'm going too fast, the FAP source. So if you wanted to add this into your firmware, like I'm gonna add it to the next version of Squatchware. Um, and yeah, all you have to do is put the source into the applications plugins folder and then compile your firmware. No problem there. I believe he's also got, yeah, just the normal camera FAP. So if you have official firmware, you can just drop that in and run that anyway. So we're gonna go ahead and open this ESP32 cam UART stream, and then hopefully Arduino IDE will uh, actually work and things will be happy today. I do have a little, little bit of a love-hate relationship with Arduino IDE. It's given me some hassles in the past, but it's been working pretty well recently, so we're gonna cross our fingers and hope for the best. All right, now that we've got the Arduino IDE running, we can just follow the instructions right here. So we'll go ahead and copy this. We're gonna add that to the board manager. Now I have already done this, but I might as well show you how to do it. So we're just gonna click down here, additional board manager. So you just add it, so that's what I did. Actually, is that in here? Do oh, looks like it's not in there, cool. Save, okay. And then we're going to go to our boards manager over here and type in ESP32. And then we're just going to install the first, the ESP32 by Espressive Systems, which I have, in fact, already installed. And of course, I already have uh, selected the correct board, but, you know, just I'll show you how to do it. So you're going to go to select other board and port and then AI Thinker ESP32 cam. And yeah, I happen to be connected on COM4. So that's really all you have to do. And then we're just going to go to um, sketch upload gonna get go ahead and click that guy and it's going to compile and upload our sketch let me close these windows out 
and we're gonna wait for this to happen. Now, there is a note on that GitHub that says that this can fail. This failed for me probably three times trying it already. Uh, I think it just comes down to noise on um, everything, but right now it's actually going perfectly and it's connecting. Whoop, is it connecting? Yeah, so this might stall out, no big deal. If it does, we'll just do it again. So I'll let this run, and as soon as it's all set, we'll check back. Excellent, it's actually working. Cool, cool, cool. And again, if it fails, just do it again. Um, when it says hard resetting via hard resetting via RTS pin, so hard to say. When it says that, you know it's completed properly. So once we're done with that, we're pretty much done with this project. It's remarkably easy. However, getting Arduino IDE set up and everything happy and working is a little bit of a chore sometimes. So you know, there are the other installation options that aren't quite ready yet. I know they have bins that you can uninstall via ESP tool. So if you're comfortable using ESP tool, that might be a great way to do it. But for now, this is the Arduino IDE installation method. And again, it works. It's just sometimes a little tricky. Gonna pop back up here real quick just to show you. We're gonna disconnect the flipper from my computer. And then we're just gonna exit out of UART bridge, go back to the main screen. And then we're gonna pull our 100 ground jumper out. And I'm not 100% sure if you have to, but I'm just gonna go ahead and press the reset button on it. Boop, there we go. And then this should be working properly. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back into the USB port, plug that back in, and then we're gonna fire up QFlipper and we're gonna see what this looks like. I am currently running the latest release from Rogue Master because Rogue Master does have the application already loaded. However, by the time this video comes out, I will have it loaded on the Squatchware in case you wanna use it there. So we're just gonna go down to the camera app and actually let me make this bigger because nobody wants to see little stuff. Make this bigger. Um, we're gonna go to camera and with any luck, it shows up. So, doo doo doo. Now, one thing to be aware of is it's really easy to bugger up the wires if you're not being careful. So there's a few modes that this camera has. I've been messing around with it. This is the really crappy looking mode, but I know if you press the left button, it actually changes it to a little bit different dithering. I'm not really sure exactly how it works, but it looks a lot better. Um, and then you can actually invert it pressing the left button. So you can do that too. So I've messed around with a lot of different settings. Whoops. Um, I feel like this one probably looks the best and it's whoop, whoop, there we go and you know it's not it's it actually looks a little better on the flipper screen itself if I'm totally honest there's some tearing with Q flipper just because SPI but honestly it's pretty cool now there are some things in the future that might um, you know be able to be implemented with this camera QR codes barcodes other stuff so it could be a really cool thing moving forward. Uh, it's really, really neat. Again, it reminds me of the old school Game Boy camera. Uh, probably used a really similar camera to what this is. And um, yeah, all in all, it is pretty cool. So this is just another one of the amazing things that's coming out of the Flipper community. Now, this wasn't created by Flipper devs. This was created by somebody who had an ESP32 camera and they're like, I wonder if I can hook it up to my Flipper. Like, that's crazy. The fact that it's the community that drives all these new creations, I think is absolutely phenomenal. As always, I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, get involved, join the Discord. It's absolutely all about building a community because the bigger the community gets, the more cool stuff that comes out of it. And honestly, it's what keeps me going, what drives me to keep making more content. So thank you so much, everybody, for all that you guys do. Thank you so much, Patreon members. Thank you, Crunchy Peanut Butter and Max, for being on the Super Fan Squash level. And thanks, everyone else. You really help me make more content. Your support means the world to me. And again, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and watch another video after this one. It helps the algorithm. It helps me out a lot. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time.